Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I have a Thread Up goodie box with me here. I ordered it like a week or two ago and it finally arrived, so here it is. What Thread Up is, is it's an online consignment store. So it's recycled clothing, which is awesome. And a goodie box from them is $10 and it's a one-time fee. It's not a subscription and you get a selection of clothes based on a survey that you fill out while you're ordering it. And what I wanted was I I am on the hunt for just like one or two pairs of really nice jeans and you can when you fill out the survey you can put how much you're willing to spend so I upped it usually I say I'm only willing to spend 20 40 dollars on an article of clothing but I said I was willing to spend up to a hundred dollars on a pair of jeans and I just want one or two pairs of designer jeans that are gonna fit me well I am starting to feel really frustrated with clothes that aren't made very well or like fast fashion clothes I just want a couple of pairs of jeans that fit well that make me feel good so that's what this is all about so the ten dollars if I find something in here the ten dollars I paid to have it shipped to me will apply to anything that I keep so I'm gonna try on some jeans too that's why I have you guys angled kind of strangely in my living room forgive me for everything that you might see behind me my husband and I are finally moving in together so there's kind of some weird random stuff you'll see like there's his he's a drummer that's one of his drums and oh and then there's my guinea pig pig food that I, I have to feed my guinea pig. Her name's Carmen. I'll introduce you to her one day. So there's just some things that are kind of random in the shots. Yeah, you guys don't care so much about that probably. Let's just get on to the try-on. <laughs> this is what it looks like inside. There are 10 pairs of jeans in here. I can't believe it. And inside, every time it comes with this little envelope thing with a return shipping label. So it's prepaid. And then it also comes with this which is the list of the items that they sent to you and it has what their estimated retail price is along with their own thread up price. So we're going to see, actually some of these look really reasonably priced. I said I was willing to spend up to $100. The most expensive pair in here are $40. Oh, there's something different in here this time. A pin, the pin is this part. Choose used movement. Inspire others to choose used and help us protect the planet. If everyone bought one used item instead of new, it would save six billion pounds of carbon emissions, equivalent to taking over half a million cars off of the road for an entire year. So the first step is if you Instagram a pic of your pin. The second step is tag at thread up and include hashtag choose used in your caption. And the third step is for every public post, thread up will donate a dollar to the circular fashion fund. That's a really awesome way to do a campaign. Good job, Thread Up. I will try to remember to do this. I will put it where I will see it and I will Instagram a pic. Okay, so now we're gonna get into the try on. Okay, so I have the first pair on and I'm already bummed, but hopefully it picks up. These aren't jeans, they're just pants and they're nice. They retail for $100. They're new with tags actually. They're William Rast and it says jeans. These aren't jeans. This is some sort of fabric and it retails for a hundred dollars and they want $33.99 if I'm to keep them and I mean they're fine, but I have plenty The pants that I started this video off with that I was wearing. I mean, I don't they're fine, but I wanted jeans I said jeans. These are not jeans. Oh, well that's okay. Strike one. <laughs> we'll go on to the next one. Okay. These aren't really jeans either you guys <laughs> These are White House Black Market. So this isn't what I wanted out of this box. I mean, these are fine. I don't, I'm not really, I, this isn't what I had in mind. They are also new with tags. They retail for $78 and they want $20 if I keep them. Maybe the next pair will actually be jeans. Okay, so this pair is actually jeans, but what's weird is they sent me my size, but they sent me a petite version of my size and I am 5'6 and the survey or questionnaire that you fill out says your height and I think petite's usually for shorter women. I've never worn petite in my life. These are new with tags as well, so that's three for three that are new with tags. And and these retail, estimated retail is $79. If I keep these, they want $18.99. They're petite, they're too short. I mean, I suppose that is a look in itself, being that short. They feel nice, I mean, they feel nice. 
um, they fit fine. I'm confused by the petite thing. I don't know, maybe I'll, I'll try them on again and I'll look at myself in the mirror or do a couple 360s and see if they look okay. So I don't feel like this is going very well for me. This is next pair is a $253 estimated retail women's rag and bone jeans. And if I keep these, which I won't be, they would want $38.99. So let's take a look at these. Oh my. I feel like I would wear these to a costume party if I wanted to dress up like my mom from the 70s. You know, there might have been a time when I was in high school where I would have thought these were real cool because when I was in high school, 1970s style bell bottoms were the vintage. Oh, this isn't going as I hoped it would. Okay, well that's that's only four pairs so far. There might be a gem in here. I'm really hoping, I, like I said, I just am hoping for one or two pairs of nice jeans. Okay, so these are a little bit snug. Something that I put in my style quiz too was that I didn't want like the fitted stretchy jean. It's so easy to find the fitted stretch jean that's just everywhere that looks kind of like a jegging. And I think it's nice, but that's just everywhere. I really wanted some like denim, just denim jeans. But this is the fitted stretchy jean. So this is ANA, a new approach jeans. The, the estimated retail is $48 and they want $14.99 if I keep them. That's a good price, actually. But, I mean, like I said, these kinds of jeans are just everywhere. I'm really bummed. I was hoping for some real designer jeans in here. Send me ones that retail for two, three hundred dollars. That's what I wanted. So this next pair is kind of interesting. They have some details on the butt pockets that I'm not too into though. These are Rockin' Republic jeans. Estimated retail $88 and they want $22.99. So, here, I'll show you the detail on the butt pocket. Is that showing up? <laughs> it's like a big RR for the designer of the jean. They actually, they're quite comfortable. I am going to consider keeping these. I just, oh, I really wish that, if they didn't have the big RR on the butt, if that wasn't there, I would be really excited about the idea of keeping these. So that's that. Okay, I'm starting to feel like I'm striking out. This next pair is Jag jeans, and they retail for $60, and if I keep them, they want $20.99. I must not have been clear enough in my survey. I'm gonna go back and review what I wrote as far as what I wanted for what I was looking for, but so far they really haven't been on point. I wanted like nice high-waisted jeans. I was willing to pay up for up to $100, and I'm not complaining. I have gotten goodie boxes where it was really, really Really nice and I still love these but this one I feel like is kind of missing the mark so far and I think I'm on pair number eight. Oh right so I'll show them to you. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about the pre-faded look and distressed denim for myself so that's one thing that I'm not too into. They're very short and then this brand is like it's the pull-on jean. You see there's no fly. It's a fake fly and there's no button here. Anyway, uh, so these are really interesting. I don't know, I'm gonna stand in front of the mirror again in them, but so far my first impression is that I'm not a fan. Okay, this is, this, this is it working out very well. The next pair are uh, capris, and they are bandolino jeans. They retail for $60, if I keep them they want $14.99. And there is a serious flaw there, um, which isn't a big deal, but you know, I don't really want it flawed. And then there are capris, which I didn't ask for capris. And then again, this one has detail on the butt. Which this I can deal with a little more than the big R and R on that other pair, but this just wasn't isn't what I had in mind. It's not like any of these pants are awful pants. These are a big no because of the flaw and the detail on the on the pockets, and then I, I didn't want capris. These are too tight. 
and they're from For All Mankind. Estimated retails $189, and if I keep them, they want $45.99. They're too tight and too long, so that's the problem with these. And they're a little bit more bell bottomy, but they're they're too long, so the ends feel just too long and big. But um, and then they're a little too snug. Like if I showed you. Anyway, it's a little too tight around the waist, so I'm muffin topping here. So these aren't bad, but they just don't fit right. Okay, so this is the last pair. This is Women's X2 jeans. I've never heard of that brand. I actually haven't heard of like half of these brands. The estimated retail is $48, and if I keep them, they want $13.99. So I don't know what I think of these. I will have to stand in front of the mirror and figure out if I like them. I do think that they might be the most on point pair for what I had in mind. Um, how do the pockets look? There is a little bit of subtle detail in the pockets, that's fine. Um, but I really wanted to try the high-waisted jean that really works well on curvier women. And I put that in my style survey and I don't think that any of these are really that high-waisted look that I was hoping to try out. That was another thing. I am going to, there are a few pairs in here that I'm going to try on again, stand in front of the mirror and see, but lately I've just kind of been telling myself if it's, if it's not a slam dunk, if it's not super on point and awesome, there's no point in wasting any money on it. So none of these felt that way initially. If you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you later. Bye.